One of the issues I've had with my van during periods of layup is that the main vehicle battery has been going flat. The issue is the charging system that I have fitted doesn't charge the vehicle battery. I only really noticed this during the lockdown period. Normally the van gets used all the time. The issue is with many modern vehicles, they use a little bit of power even when they're sitting idle and it all comes out of the vehicle battery. To make matters worse, my vehicle has a tracker fitted to it which takes a little bit of power out of it. Modern vehicles also power up all their electrical systems each time you press the key fob. So if you're just going in for something uh, and opening and shutting the door, the interior lights go on and the vehicle's computer powers up. This all adds drain. Now my solar panel keeps on top of my two leisure batteries. I've got 200 amp hour leisure batteries in the van and the solar panel, even though it's winter and there's not a lot of charge uh, coming out of the panel, it's still maintaining the charge on the two leisure batteries. If only there was some way to charge my vehicle battery from the excess power from my leisure batteries. Well, happily, there is. You need to fit one of these. What's this? It's a Van Bits Battery Master. See? It says it on it. So what this device does, three wires to connect it, one to your leisure battery positive, one to your vehicle battery positive, one to earth. And what it does is it diverts up to 1.1 amps of trickle charge from your leisure batteries to your vehicle battery. So it always keeps your vehicle battery topped up. The other point to make with it, it doesn't allow current to flow the other way. So it will never flatten your vehicle battery. So whatever power source is going into your leisure batteries from the solar panel, from the battery to battery charger, from the mains hookup, doesn't matter. It will automatically siphon off a little bit of that power and keep your vehicle battery topped up. So the battery in your van should never go flat again. So let's get it fitted. On my particular van, the leisure batteries are in here. And if you open this door, underneath this panel, I've got my two leisure batteries. Okay, on my particular van, I'm, I've got an NDS Power Service Gold, which is my battery to battery charger. It's also the solar regulator and uh, it also charges the leisure batteries when we're on a mains hookup. So all power to leisure batteries comes via that unit. It connects to my uh, vehicle battery via this isolator. So as the battery master needs to be connected to both leisure battery and vehicle battery, sighting it in this nice warm cupboard inside is a good place to put it. Plus, oops, plus it comes supplied with Velcro so we can stick it in place. Now, I think what I'm going to do is, I've got these various uh, battery connectors here, so I'll connect it to one of these terminals and also to the isolator. This isolator is designed to prevent any charge going to the vehicle battery cables so that when the mechanics are working on it at the garage, uh, they don't get any sparks or anything. So I'm going to connect to this cable here, which is coming out of my charging unit, so that when I switch the power off, there's no power going from the battery master down this cable to spark. I've also got a very convenient earth point here. Everything I need so is here to connect the battery master. So earth point, leisure battery, vehicle battery. Right, so let's get started. So I'm just messing about with where to position it and I think this is the ideal spot. The red wire needs to go to the leisure battery so that can go on that terminal. The brown wire needs to go to the vehicle battery so that can go on that terminal. And the earth, well I've got, I don't know if you can see over here, I've got convenient earth point just there so I'll attach that. Uh, for neatness I think putting it here on Velcro is a good place for it to be. Now there's also an LED indicator light on it. It flashes red when it's taking charge from the leisure battery and delivering it to the vehicle battery. And when it's balanced the charge between the two batteries, it goes green. So you need to be able to see that LED to know what's going on. So I think we'll pop it here with some Velcro. They do supply Velcro with the unit, but I've got some industrial Velcro, which I'd prefer to use. So I'm going to go and grab that, stick this in place, and then we're going to connect some terminals to these wires and bolt it all up. So today the uh, leisure battery is showing 12.3 volts. 
the vehicle battery 12.2 so the vehicle the vehicle was driven yesterday so it's uh, it's pretty uh, well topped up what i found though is if it's been left any period of time the vehicle battery drops down to 11 point something volts so it's not great um, and it will cause an issue if it carries on losing charge which it will do while it's laid up so over winter it's a great idea if you've got an older motorhome to have something like a battery master fitted just to keep your vehicle battery topped up without having to mess about uh, with charges if you keep your vehicle remotely uh, on a farm or in a storage compound uh, it's a real good thing to fit because it will make sure your vehicle always starts when you go back to it okay so I've unscrewed the isolator and now I've just got to pick a terminal size uh, to fit on this cable here. It's isolated, there's no power going to it. That one's too big. That one's absolutely fine, so we'll use that one. Okay, so the let me just check my check my wiring. So the brown wire needs to go to the engine battery. If your vehicle doesn't have all the electrics in one place, look for the split charge relay because that will have power to both your uh, leisure battery and your vehicle batteries. Uh, so that's the best place to put your um, battery master. So we've got that location sorted. I've already loosened off this terminal. So all we need to do now is crimp on this uh, onto the brown wire this terminal and attach it to there. So let's do that. Now once you've crimped on a terminal, check it's a good tight fit and can't come off. Very important. Okay, so we've got that terminal on. Let's attach it. Let's tighten that up. Try not to hit the camera this time. I whacked it with a socket like the last time and uh, knocked the camera over. Oh. Okay, that's good and tight. I'm happy with that. Okay, so we'll just pop the, the back on and then pop it back on where it lives. Screwdriver. Now we've just got to connect this wire to the vehicle leisure battery. So let's take the cover off. So we just need to attach this wire to the leisure vehicle battery. Now one thing you'll notice, although this is fused, it's a very high rated fuse, the battery master has thermal fuses built in so you don't need to fit any extra uh, external fuses. That's something that's very uh, important. Normally, with any electrical device that goes to the batteries, you must fit an inline fuse. So normally, if it didn't have the thermal fuses, the brown wire would need a fuse, the red wire would need a fuse. But in this case, they've already, fan bits have already thought of that, so you don't need to do it. So let's just have a look at our terminals again. Let's pick a terminal. It's too big. Perfect. We'll fit that one. Crimp that terminal on. Make sure the wire is poking through. Make sure that's a good connection. It is. Right, I'll just pop that there out of the way and just find a socket for that. It looks like a 13mm to me. It's a 13mm. Right. Okay. Unscrew this. So I've got it connected up, and as you can see, it's already showing a green light, meaning the vehicle battery and the leisure battery are balanced. So the vehicle battery doesn't need any charge. So I've just cut a little slot in my battery uh, fuse cover. So I'm just going to clip that back in place. 
and the last thing I'm going to do is just I don't like loose wires so loose wires cause issues so we'll just uh, put some cable ties uh, that are supplied in the kit just around these wires just to make sure nothing moves around okay I'll just snip off the ends of these there we go the final thing I'm going to do is print off some labels just so future owners know what this little black box is this is just uh, about the LED status so we'll have red charge green okay got our little label on it just so future owners know what's going on now let's just switch the battery isolator over now the leisure batteries and vehicle batteries are connected charge can only flow in one direction so only from the leisure batteries to the vehicle battery and when there's a difference in charge this will charge up to 1.1 amp to my vehicle battery so whatever happens my vehicle battery will always be topped up so long as my leisure batteries have charge and they will have because it's connected to a solar panel because it's winter there's not a lot of charge going to the solar panel although it's a sort of a reasonably bright day i'd only expect a few amps to be going into the uh, leisure batteries as you can see my solar panel light is flashing this means that the it is getting a little bit of charge but you can also see my battery master uh, charge light is green meaning um, the, there isn't a difference in voltage between the two batteries so it can't take anything from the, the leisure batteries. So we need to put more charge into the leisure batteries so that the vehicle battery can have more charge. So let's see what happens to the charge light when we plug in the mains hookup. Before I do that I'll just show you the voltages. Now, handily I've got a gauge up here so if we, uh, oh it's already switched on, if we put it at leisure battery you can see the leisure battery 12.6 vehicle battery a bit lower 12.2 so you'll see the uh, light will flick over to uh, mains voltage uh, once we plug the hookup in So you can see it flick onto mains voltage now we're plugged in and the fan for the charging unit has kicked in and you can also see the red charge light has gone on so now we're charging the vehicle battery and let's see the difference in voltage so leisure battery 13.4 and vehicle battery 12.4 so it's going up yay it's exactly what we want to see so we'll pop it back on there. You can actually see the battery master reacting to the charge. If we switch off the isolator, you can see it reacts instantly. So it's definitely working. And let's see what the voltage is. So we're up to 13.6 on vehicle. Oh, sorry, leisure battery. The vehicle battery, 12.6. So we've already put good four volts uh, 0.4 of a volt into it which is great hopefully you found this video useful if you did please give me a thumbs up or subscribe thanks